you need to render your project to a CD-ROM for delivery. Vegas gives you several options. Option number one, tools, burn CD. And yes, you can burn an audio CD and use Vegas as an audio program, and it will work just fine. However, I'd recommend Sony's CD Architect if you want to do some serious CD audio burning. We can burn a video CD directly from our project. Let's take a look at the specifics. The format is going to be MPEG-1. This will create a video CD that can be played on most computers and most commercial DVD players as well. The compression is not the best, but it's adequate and it looks pretty good. There aren't a lot of options here, but this will give us a video that will play on most computers and most DVD players. Second option is Tools, Burn CD, Multimedia CD. We have several options here. We can use QuickTime, Real Media, AVI, Uncompressed, or Windows Media, or compress to MPEG-1 or MPEG-2. If we choose Windows Media, we have a list of default templates, but we cannot edit them. We take the defaults in all the categories, or we choose another method. If we choose the Play Movie Inside Web Page option, Vegas will create an HTML file that will launch the Windows Media Player in this case. We can also include a Movie Player installer on the CD and add it here. We're looking for Windows Media or Real Media or QuickTime installers to add to the CD. Here we have more control than a video CD, but not a lot of control. The third option is to build your own. If you have a little bit of knowledge about HTML or the inclination to delve into one of those weekend HTML warrior programs, you can put together your own browser-based front end for your video or videos, and it's not that difficult. Things to keep in mind, 700 megabyte limit on a CDR. That means you can use up to 700 megabytes. You can use an uncompressed AVI file as long as it's less than 700 megabytes. You need to leave maybe 50 to 100 K for your HTML stuff and maybe another 400 K for graphics files. That's all you really need to do. Another option is to render to Windows Media Video and use the browser-based front end to access the Windows Media Video. Windows Media will give you very high quality images in relatively small file sizes. That's another way to go. A third way to go is to use Flash Video. I will show you an example of that, but basically in order to use Flash Video, what you want to do to get the best results from Flash is to render as an AVI file with the best possible sound that you have and let the Flash Fraunhofer codec transcode the AVI into the Flash format. Here's my reel. I used Dreamweaver to create the front end and did all the videos in Vegas rendered them as AVIs, and then converted them to Flash. Note that all the media files have .swf extensions. Here's what it looks like. Very good-looking video, and the Flash player is installed on virtually every machine that's out there. It's the most ubiquitous of any of the players around. The compression that Flash uses is extremely efficient. I've got over an hour of video on my CD, and yet 
I only have 300 megabytes of data. How is this possible? The flash compressor is very efficient. Let's recap. You can burn a video CD, in which case you're limited to MPEG-1. You can burn a multimedia CD, in which case you have more options, but you have no control over the audio format. Or you can build your own CD, use a browser-based front end, and render your videos in AVI format if you have the disk space, 700 megabyte limit, or in Windows Media, QuickTime, or Real format to go along with your browser-based interface. Rendering to CD in Vegas.